heading into Tallahassee for their clash with Bobby Bowden's 20th ranked Florida State Seminoles, the Eagles knew that they controlled their own destiny and their quest for the ACC title. If they could win out against FSU, Wake Forest, and Maryland, a trip to Tampa would be theirs. The Seminoles, along with the FSU faithful, were decked out in their Saturday best for the homecoming showdown. But it would be one of BC's own enjoying a homecoming weekend. The Seminoles had planned a blackout party, urging fans to join the players in their special all-black uniforms. However, Florida native Montel Harris and the Eagles were about to light it up. BC wasted little time moving into FSU territory. It wasn't long before the Eagles were on the board. Shotgun snap, the frame back to throw at the 21. Going to the end zone, wide open, Ganell, touchdown, Boston College. There's an Eagle in the end zone, and it's Rich Ganell. He was wide open, and Crane found him. The lightning strike had caught the Seminoles by surprise, and so were the ensuing kickoff. Ryan Quigley to kick it off for the Eagles. Onside kick attempt. The ball is loose in the field. The Eagles say they got it. They do have it. Although they couldn't capitalize by adding more points, BC had set the tone for the evening. Later in the first, they would take that tone up a notch. Screen is picked off at the 15, to the 20. BC to the 40, to the 50 midfield. Cutting back at the 40-yard line, to the 30. See you later. It's Marty Bowman to the 10-5. End zone. Touchdown, Boston College. The Eagles were in full flight. Donnie Fletcher would haul in BC's second INT of the game. Across the middle, picked off by Donnie Fletcher at the 19. And as the Seminoles drove downfield late in the half, Marty Bowman and the defense made sure that a field goal would be the only option. The Eagles hit the half with a 14-10 lead and tacked on 10 more in the third. From the right ass, snap, spot, kick, up and good, he got it. Give to Montel, running left, wide left, seeking the end zone, and finding it, he's in! Touchdown, Boston College! Montel Harris bounced it out. The Eagles entered the fourth up 24-10, but FSU quickly pulled to within seven. Later, with the Seminoles threatening once again, BC needed a stop. Potter back to throw, throwing left corner of the end zone for Carr, up for grabs! Dillion Gauze coming down with it for BC. Intercepted. What a catch by Gauze. Following the Leon Gauze's end zone pick with 9.15 remaining, the Eagles needed to kill some clock to put the game out of reach. And that's exactly what they did. The team called on its offensive front five to close out the game. And they answered, continuing the tradition at O-Line U. The ground attack manufactured a punishing 67-yard drive Affording Steve Aponovicius the opportunity to put the nail in the coffin. Billy Flutie is the holder. Right down the middle. For those Eagle fans that had made the trip to Tallahassee, it was truly a trip to remember. Great night, baby. We were invited. We were invited. Let me tell you something. This football team. Where's that? Where's that deal? Where's that deal? Let me tell you something, guys. Right here. Yeah, baby. Right there. That's exactly where it is. You guys are a good football team. That's why the hell we're playing for something in November. Now, we're not done. No, we're not done. We're not, we're not, not done. But let me tell you something. As a football team, are you kidding me? You guys are great. Boston College was tops in the nation with 21 interceptions on the year. And the outstanding play of the defense was a big reason why the Eagles were very much in the hunt for the ACC title. Along with Bowman's memorable interception, the Eagles' defense was able to hold FSU to just 73 yards on the ground, the lowest total of the season for a team that had entered the matchup averaging over 205 per game. On this night in Tallahassee, it was Florida native Montel Harris who led all rushers with 121 yards in a homecoming he'd never forget.
got the fresh eagle eagle's meat. Beer. We're ready to eat it. We're ready to. The Eagles found themselves in familiar territory for their final road game of the regular season. BC's third trip to North Carolina was a crucial one as they continued to control their own destiny. Needing to deny the Demon Deacons in their own house if they wanted to keep their ACC hopes alive. To do so, they would have to accomplish something they had never done before, win in Winston-Salem. The Eagles took an early three-point lead behind the left leg of Steve Aponovicius. For the remainder of the first, BC would hold that score behind great play from the Eagles' defense. Unfortunately, Chris Crane's season came to an end in the second quarter when he suffered a fractured collarbone. It was a huge loss for the Eagles, and from there on out, the offense would be led by redshirt freshman backup Dominique Davis. With Davis at the helm, BC pounded the ball, using another freshman running back Josh Hayden, setting up another upon a vicious field goal and pushing the lead to six. The Eagles were up, but knew they needed more than field goals to defy the Deeks. As it had all year long, the BC defense was about to make something happen. The screen is picked off by Urza. There he goes to the house. See you, Mark, to the five, to the end zone. Touchdown, Boston College. Mark Herzlick's 34-yard interception had landed the Eagles in the end zone and put them up 13-0. With Wake later trailing by six, Riley Skinner and the Deacon offense would continue to look downfield. Apparently, they hadn't learned their lesson. Herzlick's second INT of the quarter was his fifth on the season, and as a result, the Maroon and Gold put their third field goal of the half through the uprights for a 16-7 advantage. Behind a BC turnover and a weak punt block early in the fourth, the Demon Deacons claimed a five-point lead and it looked like a tremendous defensive effort by BC was about to go unrewarded. But they weren't about to let that happen, as it was the D that gave Davis and company chances as time ticked away. With just minutes to go, the Eagles trailed by five and needed another stop. They'd get it from ACC Player of the Week, Mark Herzlick. His first down-saving tackle forced Wake to attempt a 47-yard field goal. Wide left, and the Eagles were still alive with just under five minutes to go. But down by four, BC needed 70 yards and needed the end zone. Facing two crucial third downs, Davis connected. First with Brandon Robinson for 10. Then needing 14, Davis let one fly. It's two backs. Good snap from Tennant. Back to throw at the 33. Let's it fly down the left sideline for Gennell. He caught it at the 21. What a catch. Time was ticking, and BC still needed 22 yards for the score. Having found new confidence, the eagle attack continued on the arm of Davis. Behind his 1,500-pound O-line, the freshman stood tall and stepped up. Inside the one, BC's ACC dreams rested just feet away from the goal line and on the feet of a freshman. First and goal for the run. Moving, moving left to right. Davis, the quarterback sneak. Fight for the goal line. Davis trying to find his way in. He was stymied. Now he's in. Touchdown. Touchdown. Boston College. ACC Rookie of the Week Davis led BC 70 yards over nine plays in less than four minutes. Another surge from the O-line and an extra effort from Montel Harris helped the Eagles convert for two and take a three-point lead. Now needing a field goal to force overtime, Wake had their work cut out for them. Out of kicking range and facing fourth down, the Deeks were forced to take a shot. Three wide, Skinner back to throw, play of the game coming. Here comes the rush for BC. He eludes it, steps up, throws it to the left corner of the end zone. Batted away by Wes Davis, who had great coverage. Boston College will live for another day. 22 seconds left. Eagles 24. Wait. Facing all adversity, the Eagles move one step closer to Tampa. Did you play a full 60? Yes, sir. Did you play it to the last second of the game? Yes, sir. Did you win it on the last yes, play? Yes, sir. 
Got one more. One more. Let me tell you something. This was a hell of a victory. Hell of a victory. You found a way to win. That's what BC is all about. Finding a way to win. Get it in. Here we go. Win. One, two, three. Win.